How's it everyone? So um, today is all SharePoint and I thought I'd show you a cool thing that Microsoft uh, started launching over December. Now as always, just to remind everyone where to get what, you know, and how to stay up to date. Let's take a look at the roadmap site. If you, uh, if you go to the Microsoft 365 roadmap, and I'll share the URL with you again as well, um, and you just search for SharePoint, you'll see that one of the new ones, I'm saying new ones, but um, the updates to the site header and the options. So that started rolling out in December, and I thought I'd have a quick look at it and then just share with you the cool ideas I have around it. Um, so that's a very, very cool thing to take a look at. And then also, there's of course, if you go to Tech Community, there's a nice blog that Kathy did on using these new features that's available for the headers in um, SharePoint. So let's take a look at how great and what a huge impact this can make on your site. Now, as you might know, but I'm not going to assume, um, if I go to the settings wheel and I go to change the look on any of the sites, you will notice that you have the opportunity to change themes. Now, I've done previous blogs as well about bringing in custom themes, and I'll share that um, link as well in the comments, and I'll also just share it um, on the video. And then also, of course, headers, navigation, which is your top navigation, um, and then, of course, the footer as well of your site. So if we take a look at the header, what was available before was compact and standard. So if I change this to minimal, you'll see it's a very, very fine little line that it actually opens up. Compact a bit more, a bit higher. Standard's the bigger one where the name goes above the top navigation. And extended's actually the new thing that's been launched recently. So if I go to extended, you will now see as soon as you choose extended that you have the ability to also add a background image, which I'm super excited about because company branding is important when it comes to communication sites and intranets. So now you don't have to steal any of your estate value on the page you can actually bring your branding into the top and on the page then focus more on the content and newsletters and things like that so let's just take a look at um, uploading just a standard image for fun I've just brought in speckled eggs because I can't eat them anymore and I do miss them terribly now remember that this focal point that you can set is important when it comes to um, using the site on mobile because you might bring in your company branding and name on the image already and then say that um, you don't want to show the site title if that makes sense so you can actually bring that in on the image but then it's important that you actually set the focal point so that when it crops on mobile or on tablets it still focuses on that area that's got the title in it or the logo or whatever it is that you are adding there so it doesn't chop off a certain area that's very important to you so that's just bringing in a standard image of course and when you use this extended um, header as well you can then also change the positioning of your logo so i can say that i want the logo to be in the middle for example and i can even set it to the right hand side which you'll not see now it's in the background so we're going to leave it on um, on that right hand side and you'll see that uh, like i said speckled eggs you know you gotta have fun but um, it definitely makes a huge impact on branding of your site that you can bring that in and make sure that the, the graphics that you use and the themes that you use definitely um complements each other but let's look at another thing because you know me I always do crazy things I also checked the first thing I checked was can I add gifs in there now hold your horses I know that it must probably will slow down the load of your site okay so be careful to do this on top level intranets and things maybe for a team site and just to have fun um, so if I go to change the look and I'm going to go to the header and I'm going to load a new header so let's go and change it and load a new header so there's just a I don't know, crazy little gift that I sometimes use in my, um, my PowerPoint presentations. But you can see that it makes quite an impact. So be very, very careful of the page load. If those images are too big, big, I'm just showing this to you for an idea to have fun. Last week I did a banner with uh, text, um, and I think you can see it on this page if I zoom out a bit. But, well, there we go. That's a little banner that I did in PowerPoint last week. So you can even consider that, that it could be a gift with banner with specific words or something. And think of using that background um, as an image also for campaigns and things. So it can be a seasonal thing where you like when, I don't know, in South Africa, the rugby season is a big thing. So maybe rebrand it then and put a nice uh, campaign banner in or um, if spring starts or something. So I do think that you'll have loads of fun with this. So settings, you got to change the look and you can go and look at the different headers and the settings that you can change on those. I hope you have fun and uh, I'll catch up soon.